SendGrid demo, how to use SendGrid for email marketing. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with your own email marketing journey using SendGrid. So let's get into it. Now, SendGrid is an amazing platform that enables you to simplify your email marketing for your business or even as a third-party marketing provider. So, you can create your own marketing agency using a few tools like SendGrid or market for your own products using their email marketing. It's super effective and easy to use. Plus, you can do all of your cold emails using this as well as take your leads, import all of your leads onto their platform, and then begin your marketing campaigns from there as well. Plus, you also have scalable email marketing campaigns, which is a key feature because a lot of the times you send a email marketing campaign, but it's not really scalable. You can't really expand it. So this is super easy and effective and it starts for free. So if you take a look at their free version, you can send 100 emails every day for free. And for a small business that is starting out, it is actually a pretty good deal because let's say even if you have like a thousand customers, in 10 days, you can probably send all of your customers a email. Now, this is a limitation. You can only send 100 emails a day. But it still is pretty good considering that you're not going to be paying anything. And if I was to compare this to other email marketing tools, it is a lot cheaper and a lot better than their free versions. Plus, you have ticket support, delivery insights, insightful analytics, dynamic template editors, optimization tools, APIs, and webhooks, and so much more. Then it starts at the Essentials version, which starts at $90.95 per month. And that is for over... 50,000 emails and after 50,000 emails if you want to send more then you have to pay more then the pro version you can see it starts at uh you know for 50,000 emails it starts at 89.95 where you also have features such as single sign on sub user management dedicated ip includer 2500 email validators and so much more so to get started all you have to do is head on over to sendgrid and once you're on sendgrid.com just click on start for free on the top right over here once you've done that you're just going to continue on with your email address and a password and once you have done that, you're going to continue on and provide all of your information. Now, I have previously created an account, so I'm just going to log on over there. But if you don't have an account, just fill out this basic information and you will be headed to where it's the same page that I'm going to. It's just your basic information, your phone number, your, um, you know, role, how many emails you want to send out. So you can see over here, this is my account and I've just signed up using my new email and this is what your welcome page is going to be like. Now, to get started with SendGrid, you can see on the left side of your screen, you have a navigation panel. In this navigation panel, you will find your dashboard, your email API. Now, in your email API, you have two sub features. You have your dynamic template and integration guide. So if you open up your dynamic templates over here, we're just opening these up and you can see over here that you can click on create a dynamic template and you can begin by creating your first email template let's say it might be a welcome to our business or a thank you for your purchase email so i'm just going to create a welcome email template and i can click on create and now i can open this template up and click on add version and now I can open up a blank version or I can even click on the send grid email designs and you can see these are some of their amazing preset designs and I can just use these email designs and I can copy these and enter my own information instead. They have a bunch of different designs that you can use. You know, they have multiple different themes as well as niches or categories that you can pick from. So I'll be showing you guys later on how to create your template design, how to customize it. But before that, we're just going to do a overall rundown. We have our marketing features next up. Uh, we have our integration guide and marketing features. So in our integration guide, if we open it up over here, now you can see over here in your integration guide, you have your sending limits. Obviously with a free version, you have sending limits, but you also have a single sender and authenticate a domain instead where you can create your sender identity. You can see this is what it's going to show up as whenever you send an email. So you wanna make sure it looks as professional as possible. And that is how you can create your single sender. Now, next up you have your marketing section. If you go into your marketing section, you can have 
multiple different items such as automation, single sense, and so much more. So if you go into automations, you can automate your email scheduling. So let's say that you want to create an automation like whenever the new month arrives, a certain email is sent or whenever a customer leaves their cart, then they can get a email that says, hey, you left your cart empty, please come back. So you can create your automations over here. Then you have single send. So now in single send, you can have a email that is sent only when a certain item or whenever a certain action is performed. These are one-time emails. They won't be repeated. And you can send coupon codes. You can send voucher codes or you can, you know, build this for your customers. So let's say you're a marketing agency and you want to create this for, you know, people that are, um, let's say someone has created a website for their photography booking and maybe they want to introduce a one-time only single use, you know, new user coupon. So you can create those single site emails using this. Then you have your contact. So in your contacts, you can add all of the potential leads that you have from your business. You have custom fields, sign up forms, senders, notification, and unsubscribe groups. So next up, you have your design library. So you can uh, create a image or aesthetic that fits your business design. Then you have your stats. So from here, you actually have a lot of different niched out stats that you can get. So first off, you can get a overall review of what kind of emails that you are sending, then your browser stats, your graphical, all that good stuff. Then you have email suppression. So where you're getting unsubscribed or where you're getting spam reports or blocks. And then you have your activity monitoring and sending. So to get started, we're going to go back into our design library and we're going to send an email. So let's say I want to go to my dashboard and I will just click on design editor because I just want to uh, use a simple design editor. You also have the APIs. So if you want to use the APIs, you can use those. But uh, if you want, you can just uh, send your email like this uh, and design it yourself. You can even click on send create email designs. I'm going to show you guys how to send one. I will preview this design over here. I will click on duplicate design and I will open this design in the design editor. Once I've done that, I have two options. I can test my email and I can send this to my specific email. So I'm going to click on send test message and now I'm going to go into my Gmail account over here and I'm going to wait for my email to be received into my account. I want to see whether it goes to the spam. I want to see whether it goes to my direct inbox and you can do that and create a specific testing version as well. So you can also, you know, get in-app testing to see if you're getting marked from spam. So you can do a spam test as well and as well as inbox rendering, how it's going to show up in the inbox of your users. So we're just going to wait a couple of seconds for our uh, email to be delivered onto our account making sure that you also do check your spam because it can take a couple of seconds for your email to arrive and until we do that we're just going to save this for now and once your email template has been saved you can customize it you can just double click on any of the items you can replace the image all of the editing tools are present on the left side of your screen and you can click on delete like so to delete any of the items and you can click on any of the text to replace the text as well. Now I'm going to move out and I will go into my profile. So now you can actually go into your marketing and click on automations. And you can automate a certain email. You can automate a certain, um, you know, email. So you can see I created this welcome email and I can greet new contacts whenever they are here. Or I can build my own custom automation. So let's say whenever someone uh, purchases, you know, a certain amount of product, I want to send them an email. So I can click on select over here in the custom section and add those input variables as well. So you can enter your uh criteria so if you want these to be all contacts if you want them to be certain contacts and you're just going to enter that those specific contacts for example contacts that are frequent purchasers as well as you know loyal customers or something like that so you can create those lists in your contact section and then send them a specific automation as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with sendgrid as well i'm just gonna wait for my email so i can show you guys exactly how it looks like once it is sent but i'm gonna go back into my dynamic templates and i will click on this email so i'm just going to complete my sender id and once my sender ID has been confirmed, I can begin sending my email. So now I can go into my email template and begin sending it like so. 
and now in this way you can begin sending your emails it's super easy you can click on create single send you can click on select and you can just send your emails as they are and customize them however you like i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video